Welcome back. Time for us to enter the fast lane with Lane Grindle, the Husker Sports Network. The Big Ten Network announced their nighttime football schedule in the fall. The Huskers will make two BTN nighttime appearances in Lane. That'll make five consecutive night football games for the Big Red in the fall. Are you a fan? I, I like night games, uh, specifically at home. I love home night games uh, at Memorial Stadium. I don't think there's anything like it, to be honest with you. So I'm a fan of them at home. On the road, let's put them in the afternoons. I think it's a bigger advantage for home teams uh, when they have a night atmosphere. And obviously, it's tougher on the team. You get home late in the middle of the night, um, most of the time on Sunday morning, and that makes Sunday recovery a little bit tougher. I guess I'm looking at this maybe from a coaching standpoint a little bit, but I like night games. I think it makes college football that much more cool, and uh, I think it makes it that much more cool. You're competing against fewer teams at night, too. I think for the profile standpoint of the university and for the school, it's probably a good thing to be at night as much as you can. All right, let's go to baseball. We saw Ryan Bolt's first Husker home run last week against Northwestern. Do you expect to see more power out of Ryan Bolt? Without question, I do. I, I In fact, I've been a little bit surprised we haven't seen more this year up to this point. Now, we've seen him square some balls up and hit some balls hard. We saw him hit one off the top of the wall in Minnesota. We saw him crush a ball against Kansas State down in Manhattan. We saw one of his first at-bats against Pacific uh, in the season opener was destroyed to, to center field. Uh, he has a lot of power in that bat, and I think we're going to see more and more of that as he continues to get more and more comfortable. We've seen him be a freshman this year. He's had hot spells where it didn't seem like anybody could get him out, and then there's been moments where he's been a freshman, and mentally he's been swimming in a little bit. I think you're going to see him over the course of his career hit more and more for power. I think he's a 7-10 to 10 home run guy in his career before it's all said. All right. You, might, you were in the green room when we were talking with Coach Erstad earlier about the bullpen did a really good job in the final game against Northwestern. Talk about the depth that you think this team is developing in the bullpen. Well, I think it's been the, the pleasant surprise of this year. If you look back at the beginning of this season, there were some guys performing pretty well out of the bullpen, and then they, they hit a rough patch, and all of a sudden you weren't sure who you could go to out of the bullpen outside of Zach Hirsch and maybe Josh Rader. Well, now all of a sudden, Bob Greco has gotten back to throwing strikes, but Colton Howell has emerged as a guy that has really very good stuff and I think has a bright, bright future in this game. You also have a handful of other guys that have stepped in and I think performed pretty well for Nebraska here. Austin Christensen's been a nice addition out of the bullpen. I think this pitching staff is really rounded into form and this team's going to be a tough, tough out in any kind of postseason format because of their depth of arms. That's Lane Grindle, the Husker Sports Network. When we come back, we'll check out the action from the largest tailgate softball party for the Huskers.